Long are the days of the George Costanza wallets where the wallet is so large that it fits in your back pocket and as you sit down, it causes severe back problems. And a wallet for your money. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is huge. Instead, most guys today are looking for a slimline wallet but you really only have two options. You have the extreme cheap option from Amazon, or you have the extremely expensive $320 Gucci Italian leather wallet that's maybe worth 40 bucks that they're trying to sell you a name brand. Now, which one do you choose? Do you choose really cheap or really expensive? Well, I have a wallet here on the table from Axwell. Now, I've done a review from Axwell in the past, their copper wallet really awesome wallet. Today we are looking at the Damascus Nebula wallet along with two other products. Now a quick overview of the three products and why I am happy to review them. The first one is going to be the Slimline Damascus Nebula wallet. This thing, the reason why most people like Slimline wallets is because they easily fit in the front pocket. Most people don't normally have wallets in the back pocket anymore, simply because it's easy to pickpocket and grab out and then all of a sudden all your money and credit is gone and tanked out the window and it's really a hassle to recover all the monetary loss from someone simply stealing your wallet. So a lot of people today like wallets that fit in the front pocket. This thing is pretty cool. I'm super excited to show it to you in the unboxing. The second one is going to be an accessory. It's going to be a money clip with an air tag attached to it. Now, I go on vacation, not quite a bit, but I do go on vacation and I always put an air tag, me and my fiance, in each one of our bags, and the air tag is labeled so as we're on the plane, we can see our bag coming onto the plane so we know it's traveling with us as it should. Um, as a police officer, I have actually tracked down things with air tags and help people recover either stolen vehicles or stolen key fobs. We'll get into that in just a minute, but this is an accessory that allows you to attach to your wallet. So if you ever lose your wallet, you can use an air tag to track it back down. And the third one is going to be a bottle opener. It's an ax bottle opener. It could go on your keychain, but really I think it's a fun accessory, something for barbecues or having a bunch of people over when you have a bin full of ice and beer. Now let's flip the camera around and dive right into a quick unboxing. Damascus Nebulous Wallet is going to be the first thing that we unbox today. Now I have done a review on the Axwell wallet in the past. It wasn't the Damascus Nebulous. This is a new wallet to their edition. Link down in the description below. One of the things that I do love about Axwell Wallet, not only are they substantial, heavy duty, and you can feel that it does have a weight to it, which is nice because you know it's high quality. One of the things that I love about Axwell is they offer the ability to either have a money clip or a money strap or neither one. If you look at something like this GeoGrit, which I've reviewed in the past as well, it only offers either a money clip or a money strap, whereas Axwell is like, you know what guys, I don't want you to not be happy with the product, so I'm gonna give you the ability to do both. Then the ability to do both is quite easy. In fact, they have two removable panels, so you can decide whether or not you want it on this side or this side. Then you simply take off the money strap and you put on the money clip. Now I'm not gonna put on the money clip because I have that other um, accessory that they wanted me to check out. Now one of the things I love about the Axwell is the ability to access the cards from the side. Something like this GeoGrit pushes up from the bottom which makes it a little complicated to actually go through your cards. There's no wallet that's going to be able to allow you to choose one card at a time, especially when you can choose when you can have up to 12 cards in this, but it again allows you the ability to push out, open up and then sort through the cards that you need. One of the things that I do love about this wallet not only is it going to last you a lifetime because of the fact that it does use very high quality materials, but it just looks really cool. Now let's put this off to the side and let's go ahead and open up the money clip that also has a tracker. Now, if you are a fan of Apple watches, if you're a fan of Apple products, you know what an Apple AirTag is. And I can hear you screaming already. You can say, well, Chase, if you put a Apple money tag on your wallet, then can't someone who steals your wallet just take this off? Well, yeah, of course. Anything with any type of 
uh, AirTag tracker. If someone wants to steal your wallet, then they can just take that off. I, in fact, as a police officer myself, I had an AirTag that was attached to a key fob. The key was stolen. We recovered the car. Then we followed the AirTag into an open field, which was nice. We were able to track it quite nicely, except they had just taken it off the key fob, so the key fob wasn't there. Dude had to spend like 400 extra bucks to get a new key fob, but we recovered his car. So this is more like for those people who are like me, who are around the house and they're like, geez, I can't find my wallet anywhere. Where did I put it last? And then I can get on my phone, I can ping it, and I can find out exactly where it is. It may also help you if you do go out to Vegas because there, as much as people think that I should be more jaded as a police officer, generally I think people want to do the right thing. And if you do lose your wallet and you have no idea where it is, let's just say you have a drunken escapade in Las Vegas, and you're at the Pal Station Hotel and Casino, and you're gambling, and then suddenly uh, you black out, go back to your hotel, wake up, and you're like, where's my wallet? And you can ping it, and you know, at the very least, you'll find the AirTag, if not your wallet also. So it is a cool accessory if you're a person who constantly loses their wallet, which I definitely am. And last but not least, they did also send over an awesome bottle opener. Now I am one who loves, I love barbecues. I love to go out and grill stuff, have friends over, and this is just a really cool thing that is an accessory that they sent over. You could put this on the keychain if you want, but it literally just cracks open your bottles, either of soda or beer or whatever you're into. I just love what Axwell is offering. I love the fact that they have very high quality things. I love the fact that they are pro law enforcement, they are pro military, and I love the fact that not only are they pro these things that are important to me, but they do offer very high quality things. Now, what do you guys think about what I have in front of me? I really do love the Damascus Steel Axwell wallet. I think that this is one of those things you pull out, we're gonna be like, oh dude, what's that? That's a pretty awesome wallet. I'm pretty curious in the next few weeks how many eyes I can catch with this wallet to see if anybody says anything. Now, what do you guys think about what I have here on the table? I really, really do love the high quality of the Damascus Nebula Slimline wallet, and I love the fact that it does open from the side. Like I said, I have a lot of Slimline wallets. I've had my hands on quite a few products, and I really do prefer the side method from the top method when it comes to accessing your cards. Most people, you know, start off by carrying three or four cards in their Slimline wallet. Then you'll realize that now all of a sudden I have eight and nine and 10, and this thing is getting pretty, uh, pretty thick. It just, it happens like anything else in life. However, the pure fact that it is Slimline, even if you put eight to 10 cards in it, it still does fit seamlessly in your front pocket. And that's what I love the most about it. The one thing that I do love the most about Axwell is the fact that they do offer that modular design. Nobody else that I've seen on the market offers the same modular design, so it is unique to them, and I really think that that alone, the fact that I could change up the, if I don't want a money clip, I mean, maybe I buy a wallet and it has a money clip on it, and then I realize I don't like the money clip. Okay, well, am I just gonna throw away a $100 wallet? because I don't like the money clip, or am I just gonna break the money clip off and now I don't have anything else? That's why I like about the Axwell is the fact that they offer both options with their product and it's high quality and it's gonna last you a lifetime. Again, I understand the AirTag thing, we already went over that. I think it's a great thing if you are someone who loses your, your stuff, like me. Often, I just lock my keys in my patrol car. I can be absent-minded like a lot of people, so with that, it's good for people like me who are absent-minded. Now, if you like videos and videos like this, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment of the content you guys would like to see. I have a lot of videos coming out in the future. My goal is to release a video every two to three days. Uh, we're trying to get to 15,000 subscribers. We just hit 10,000 not that long ago. We're slingshotting forward to 15,000. When I hit 15,000, I will be doing a awesome giveaway of a Swiss watch. I'm probably looking at the Tissot PRX as a giveaway for 15,000 subscribers. This is mostly a watch channel and I like to throw these things in between. So if you do like watches and you like the random stuff, the dive videos and these 
um, wallet reviews or tactical reviews. I love to throw this stuff in between because this is all things random, mostly watch stuff, dive stuff, random stuff in between. The things that I love, the things that I'm passionate about, I'm not gonna bring you guys anything that I don't think has value or quality, so keep that in mind moving forward. Anyway, make sure you guys hit that notification bell. I guess people aren't getting my, my notifications. Make sure you hit that bell and I'll see you in the next one.